Okay, Aquarius, this is going to be your true love reading. Aquarius, true love reading. Okay. Okay, so it's kind of... That's interesting. Okay, so I just did Sag, and I think I was like, leave the past in the past, okay? Let's, bye-bye. Where, let go of the struggle. That's what it's asking. Let go of the struggle. Whatever that is, let it go. Okay, some of you were waiting for communication, and it never came. And it was because... Uh, they were dealing with this energy here. Okay. So. All right. So here you are in your empress mode, being your beautiful self. Okay. So uh, this is a call for compassion, humbleness, um, planting those new seeds in thought. Look at all the, the stars on her crown. Planting new seeds of thought in positive places. Birthing the new. Leaving the karmic stuff behind. Starting new. Okay, so if there was a twin flame type energy, there is a potential for renewal there and take it, taking it to the next level. But you have to really kind of feel your heart out and see where it's calling and that will move you in a in a clear way where there's no confusion Woo! all right so some of you might have been in some uh so okay so this could be i'm picking up water and fire so uh, Scorpio Sag, okay, energy is here, okay, so for some of you, it's fire, someone with fire and water in their charts, okay, now, I feel like whoever this reading is for, it's like you feel emotional every time there's a potential here. So, and then this crown is being lit up. So I feel like it's like, watch what you are feeding your mind, the programs. Okay, so here is the chariot reverse. That causes no movement when you feed your mind with uh, negativity, right? We want to feed the mind with positivity. Okay, so there's no movement here. So for... Some of you, this is no movement towards a water sign. For some of you, this is you have water in your chart that's causing that. Um, so if you have water in your chart, align that with, with this Empress energy. And that'll have you working on it again in the loved sector. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so some of you feel like you're not attached to your family. Okay, some of you had to disengage to be in your power. So, um, just make peace with it. That's what I'm getting. Make peace with it, right? Okay, so, mm -hmm. and it comes up a lot of times during the holidays. Okay, this could be your person too, for some of you. Okay. All right, so there is promise and potential here. Okay, we've got wish fulfillment. 
We've got the Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. That's looking like marriage or uh, at least uh, a new way of defining uh, longevity in a relationship. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All these cards. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I think Sagittarius ended with Magician, or was that Scorpio? Okay. So, it's okay if it's moving slow, right? Okay, but show your passion. That's what I'm getting here. Show your passion to the person. Okay. Even if it moves slow... Show your passion. Okay, so Mercury, who's showing up? Uh, Gemini, Virgo. Water. Earth, it's all here. Okay, so for some of you, uh, they've been spying on you and they've been wondering what you're up to and what you're, where you're giving your energy, but you've been uh, tight-lipped about it and you haven't really been open about that and not communicating, <laughs> keeping it all under wraps, even your, uh, at times when your mind was getting squirrely, but all along still... Uh, wanting connection, but not stepping into the new cycle. Having a lot of burdens. Okay, so here it is. So, the key is openness. Flexibility, right? With the higher front showing up. And with the Uranus energy, so it's calling for... Okay, so you're wanting to feel free and independent and moving forward, moving on the leading edge of creation. And, uh, but it's calling for you to be flexible and open minded. And, uh, so there's twins here. So, uh, all right. So, anyway, the key is if you have a rigid structure, with your schedule, figure out how you can be more spontaneous because this is Uranus. Okay, it's Taurus and Uranus. So figure out how you could be more spontaneous where you could have more flexibility in your schedule for love. And that'll bring your new beginning. Now, because of this, all that time, the water sign person... Uh, Maybe is in their fields. Okay, let's see. And blocked it. But here's a new promise. Okay, so. Uh, here's a Virgo energy showing up again. Okay. So whatever this earth energy for some of you, if, it, if things weren't uh, working out the way you wanted to, it's going to, um, it's all going to come together. And I'll leave you with that. <laughs>